And a good morning to you. Rising gas prices. Yes, I know you're excited about this one. The Biden administration is looking to use its leverage with OPEC to pump more oil, but the group continues to stick to a more restrained production plan. Nick Smith is live in Chicago to provide us with any insights and when we might see a price drop at the pump. Nick. Unfortunately, Adrian, this gas price situation is one that is nationwide. We're seeing these prices rise all over the place, but they may be stabilizing a bit. In fact, if you take a look over my shoulder, you can see what the prices are here in Chicago. But what we know is this. Take a look. In California, the highest gas prices are recorded there at $4.62 a gallon. The lowest in Oklahoma, where the gas average is $3.03 a gallon. Now, to put this into perspective, at the same time in 2019, the national average was $2.69. That's a 73 cent increase for a gallon of gas. Joining me now, Patrick Dehan from Gas Buddy. Patrick, you and I were talking about why this is happening. We know that the Biden administration is using a bit of leverage they're going to try to to um, uh, get these prices to drop. What do we expect? Well, you know, a lot of this is pandemic driven. Global demand for oil continues to surge. This is not just a U.S. issue. And that's quite frankly the problem. And especially in the last four to five weeks, we've seen gas prices uh, soar. And a lot of that is due to an energy crunch in China, where record low coal inventories are being seen, and in Europe with a natural gas shortage. In both of those areas, oil is being used as a backstop. China's buying up all sorts of natural gas, coal, and oil. So demand continues to go up, and global supply is just lagging far behind and that's pushed oil prices up to their highest level in seven years and that's why gas prices continue to go up. We're looking at video now of gas, people pumping gas and people dealing with this situation across the country. Even if the Biden administration were able to make a move, we understand that the difference would be minuscule at best. Well, and again, because we're talking about so many countries globally consume oil. So even if the U.S. opens its strategic petroleum reserve, which is one of the things being discussed, it's like, you know, putting a Band-Aid on a gaping wound. It just would not add as much. So it would be very temporary and very limited how much long-term relief it would do. I don't need to tell you that with the holidays creeping up, many are hoping to see a price drop before uh, the holidays kick in and people start to travel for Thanksgiving and others. What do you expect? What do you guys at Gas Buddy see? Well, a little bit of light at the end of the tunnel. Oil prices are off about $3 a barrel from their highs just a couple of weeks ago. So that may provide a few cents of relief as we move into Thanksgiving. Certainly not the amount of relief we all like to see, but at least relief nonetheless. So expect that national average to start inching down in the next couple of days. And every time we do a gas story, we always say to you, oh, Patrick, what should we at home be doing? I'm going to throw that at you again. What can people do who are right now seeing these prices go through the roof and really want to save a few dollars? Well, I think three main things, three main tips. One of them, shopping around because prices vary, especially in environments in a big city or suburbs. You'll see prices 50 cents, even a dollar a gallon higher or lower. Then number two, uh, certainly to, uh, to, to shop around. Uh, use a, a payments card or loyalty program. There's so many of them for free that will knock off several cents a gallon. And I think the third, which is the hardest, is to simply slow down. Leave a few minutes early, conserve, drive a little slower. That can actually boost the amount of miles per tank by up to 20%. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.